Hey everybody, it's Hallie O'Brien and welcome to Sunday Waffles. In case you're wondering why I have a microphone, it's because I'm in a car. As some of you may know, I am on a road trip. And who doesn't do a road trip with a microphone in their hand? The road noise is actually very, very intense. There are a lot of diesel engines in the south especially. So for you to hear me better, I am going to use this. Leave your snarky comments below. So we have a lot to catch up on. Let's start right at the beginning. I knew this journey was going to be fun as soon as I got into the cab ride on the way to the airport. My cabbie was the kind of guy that would be a mad scientist in a movie. Or have the machines sort of like thoroughly stupefied us. You know? <laughs> 2,000 mini Walmarts, man. That's a lot of Walmarts. He just rambled on and on, something about machines taking over the world and a surplus of Walmarts. I don't know. So I flew to New Jersey on Southwest, might I add, and they have very, very talented flight attendants. Say what can make me feel this way, Southwest. <laughs> While I was home, I got to wish my brother luck. He is now a Marine. He is one of the few and the proud, and I am one of the masses and proud of him. We started the road trip eight hours and several Cracker Barrel billboards later, we found ourselves in Snowshoe, West Virginia. Snowshoe is a gorgeous resort and it's unlike anything I've ever seen before because the village is actually all the way at the summit of the mountain. So you actually don't get first chair, you get first tracks just cutting right to the business. Nightlife in Snowshoe, West Virginia is exactly how you would picture it. There are tons of guidos running around with blowouts and gold chains around their neck listening to dubstep. No. I did go to an open mic, which is actually like karaoke but for talented people, and encountered the most spirited locals singing their state anthem, West Virginia. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that woman was playing some sort of breathalyzer piano. Kind of sounded like a kazoo and a harmonica combined. On our way out of town, we got stuck behind a logging truck for what seemed like eight years. We saw where the West Virginians educate their demon sea children and talked to some of the locals. You take a little ride, huh? Uh, yeah, how you like, how you like the It's pretty good, pretty good. He literally just drove his tractor up to the driver's side window and started chatting it up. That's what they mean by Southern hospitality. I get it now, I get it. Next week, I'll give you a glimpse into everything that I experienced in Atlanta, including a super exclusive behind the scenes look at the Weather Channel headquarters. Oh yes, this is the part where you're supposed to say, ooh and ah, I will wait. Oh, and if you haven't found waffles on Facebook, then you should go to facebook.com slash sundaywaffles and leave me a waffle bit. Now, if you're wondering what a waffle bit is, it is actually a mini waffles. It's a clip. It's something random. It's something funny. It's something I've encountered in my travels. I'm going to be putting a bunch of them up on the Facebook page and everywhere else. And I would love to see your random, travely, interesting, comedic encounters. So if you feel so inclined, please do share them. I'll see you next week. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Now it really feels like cops because the laptop here on my lap, the camera on the dashboard, now all we need is like a siren or some sort of light that flashes. Maybe I, there's an app for that. I'll just get that here and then we will have some fun with the people in front of us. I don't know. It was more fun in theory. Just get this, dear God.